I think what I really, really love about earth sciences is the fact you get to use physics, chemistry, maths, and in some cases biology as well, although that's less mainstream for me, to understand the world around us and to make really, really far-reaching connections, to understand the world over an enormous range of scales and over an enormous range of time scales. Um, and you really, really feel that you're, you've got a greater understanding of the planet we live on. So I'm Tamsin Mather. Um, I started off doing an undergraduate degree in natural sciences at Cambridge, specialising actually in chemistry in the end. Uh, then I took a couple of years out of science uh, before coming back to do a PhD in the Department of Earth Sciences back at Cambridge um, in the atmospheric impacts of volcanic eruptions. And once I'd finished that, uh, I was seconded to the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology uh, for a short period. And then I went back to Cambridge again on a Royal Society Dorothy Hodgkin Research Fellowship and spent about 18 months uh, in Cambridge before transferring that to Oxford to take up a faculty position here in uh, the Department of Earth Sciences. Volcanoes are really at the heart of my research. And I'm really intrigued by what I see as the tension when it comes to understanding volcanoes and volcanic processes. So on the one hand, they're very important to understand because they're natural hazards. Uh, as we all became aware in the UK not that long ago, they can close airports and airspace. Uh, but they can also cause real risk to human life and human property. And this is probably the, the image of volcanoes you're most used to seeing on the news. But there's also another really, really intriguing side to volcanoes, and that's their role as a planetary process. That's their role in, in maintaining the Earth and creating the, the Earth the way it is. So uh, over geological time, volcanoes have really been part of the system that's, uh, that's kept our planet habitable. There are various different ways that we teach the undergraduates. Perhaps the way that's most memorable for them at the end of their course is the, the fieldwork component. So about once or twice a year they go out and get hands-on experience in the field, starting off probably in the first few years mainly at UK locations uh, and then moving further afield in the third and fourth year. And it's a fantastic experience to really get to grips with the subject out there where it's happening. Then there's a mixture of lectures, practicals, problems classes, and of course tutorials as well. The course starts very, very broad. So I myself actually teach chemistry for the first year Earth scientists. So we sort of get everyone up to speed, which is um, a bit beyond A level. Uh, and then I, I teach the specialist courses in volcanology in the third and fourth year as well, which I very much enjoy. I think I came to really realise that earth sciences was the, the subject for me during the first term of my PhD. And I spent a lot of time in the library reading papers and books, um, learning about volcanoes because I was a chemist and really didn't know very much about volcanoes uh, from my undergraduate course at all. Um, at the December, the end of my first term, I was fortunate enough to get out on a volcano in Nicaragua and actually start making measurements. And um, it was really taking those, making those measurements, taking those samples back to the lab and discovering something new uh, about the behaviour of the gases and the particles coming out of this particular volcano. There was no looking back after that. Mm -hmm.